The glomerulus is an interesting and complex structure, arguably the most important part of the kidney, in the sense that most disorders of the kidney involve the glomerulus. The glomerulus regulates renal blood flow, glomerular filtration rate, as well as contributes towards the regulation of systemic blood pressure and sodium regulation by the kidneys. In this micro lesson, we'll limit our discussion to the basic structure of the glomerulus and the cells that make up the glomerulus. To start with, the glomerulus is composed of three different cell types, endothelial, smooth muscle, and epithelial cells. Like the vasculature throughout the body, the afferent arterioles, the glomerular capillaries, and the efferent arterioles are lined with a single layer of endothelial cells. However, the endothelial cells that line the glomerular capillaries are unique in that they have pores or fenestrations that measure 70 to 100 nanometers in diameter. These fenestrations allow for the rapid filtration of water, solutes, and electrolytes, while restricting the passage of blood cells and large molecules like proteins. Surrounding the endothelial cells of the afferent and efferent arterioles are smooth muscle cells. They influence the glomerular filtration rate by regulating the vascular resistance of these two arterioles. Besides the typical smooth muscle cells that surround the arterioles, the intraglomerular mesangial cells, extraglomerular mesangial cells, and granular cells represent specialized smooth muscle cells. Each has a distinct function. Situated between the glomerular capillaries within the Bowman space, the intraglomerular mesangial cells influence the glomerular filtration rate by regulating the glomerular capillary surface area. They do this by altering the state of contraction and relaxation. The extraglomerular mesangial cells, as their name implies, are located outside the Bowman space and are situated between the macula densa cells and granular cells. They respond to chemical signals that originate from the cells of the macula densa which influences the release of calcium ions, which then spread to granular cells and typical smooth muscle cells via gap junctions. In granular cells, calcium suppresses the release of renin. Renin plays an important part in the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, which influences systemic blood pressure, renal plasma flow, and sodium reabsorption. In typical smooth muscle cells, calcium facilitates the contraction of the myofilaments, which leads to a reduction in the renal plasma flow and ultimately a reduction in the glomerular filtration rate. The cells that form the capsule that make up the Bowman space are referred to as parietal cells, which are a specialized epithelial cell type. The Bowman space is a cup-like structure that surrounds the glomerular capillaries and is designed to collect the ultrafiltrate. Once formed, the ultrafiltrate drains directly into the tubule. Podocytes are also specialized epithelial cells and are located in the Bowman space. They form extensions called foot processes, which completely surround the glomerular capillaries and play an important role in restricting the passage of plasma proteins into the ultrafiltrate. Now the space between the foot processes is referred to as the filtration slit, and it measures approximately 30 to 40 nanometers across. The filtration slits are held together by a number of integral membrane proteins like ZO1, nephrin, and podocin, just to name a few. These integral proteins act like intracellular tight junctions and restrict the passage of plasma proteins as well as maintain the structural integrity of the foot processes. Loss of these proteins often leads to the appearance of protein in the urine, otherwise known as proteinuria. Together, the endothelial cells and podocyte foot processes secrete extracellular matrix proteins that form the glomerular basement membrane, or GBM, which is composed of matrix proteins like collagen and heparin sulfate. The GBM measures approximately 250 to 350 nanometers in thickness and has three distinct layers, or lamina. They are the lamina rara interna, which lies next to the glomerular capillary endothelial cells, the lamina rara externa, which lies next to the foot processes, and the lamina densa, which lies between the lamina rara interna and externa. The primary function of the glomerular basement membrane is to restrict the passage of plasma proteins and help maintain the structural relationship between the glomerular capillary endothelial cells and podocyte foot processes. And finally, the macula densa cells are specialized tubular epithelial cells that influence the regulation of glomerular filtration rate. The macula densa cells are technically not part of the glomerulus, but because they influence glomerular function, they are often referred to as the juxtaglomerular apparatus 
or JGA. For more on the role of the maculodensis cells, see our micro lesson on the tubular glomerular feedback mechanism.